Hi, this is Miss Val from the Independence Branch Library, and I want to welcome everyone to Adventure Club for today. Today we're going to have a little demonstration to help you better understand diversity, and then we'll have our craft for today, which is a kente cloth craft. Um, so let's get started with this apple demonstration. I have three apples here. As you can see, there are three different colors. There are three different types of apples. Apples come in different shapes and sizes and varieties, just like people. This is a green Granny Smith, and a red Delicious, and a yellow or golden Delicious apple. They smell really good too. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to predict what will happen when we cut these apples open. Are they different? Or are they the same? Well, let's see. Let's cut these apples open and find out. And do not try this at home unless you have a parent that can help you do this. Or a caregiver or an adult because it's a little hard to cut these apples open. And we don't want anyone to get hurt doing this. So let's see. Okay, here we go. It's a nice, tart Granny Smith. And there it is. There's the inside. So let's see what's going to happen when I cut through this Red Delicious. Red Delicious is much, much softer apple. You just slide right through. And there's the inside of the Red Delicious. Okay, well, let's see what's going to happen when I cut through the inside of this golden delicious. Here we go. And there it is. Let's see. Look. Let's compare. What does the inside of these apples look like? Well, it looks like to me that each one has a pulp inside, whitish colored pulp and each one has a star right inside so just as people come in different sizes and shapes and colors so do apples but everyone even including us has a star inside of us because we all have your loving hearts and curious minds and we all are different yet alike. Now you can take this a little bit further if you'd like and you can do a taste test and there's no wrong answer in a taste test because our taste buds are as unique as we are and some people will like soft and some people will like crunchy, some people will like sweet and others will like tart apples and then there are some people that'll just say, I prefer to have a banana. And they're okay too. So I hope you enjoyed this demonstration for today. Stay tuned for our kente cloth craft. Thank you. Hi, this is Miss Val and welcome to Adventure Club. Our craft for today is a kente cloth, paper weaving. Now kente means basket and it was first woven like a basket. But you can, it's woven as cloth and it's worn by people uh, from West Africa, uh, specifically in the country of Ghana. The Ashante people began this and all of the colors represent something like blue represents peace and harmony and gold is royalty or wealth. Green is like planting, harvesting, growth. And red is passion. And black is energy or strength. And today I'm going to show you how we can paper weave the kente cloth, which is mostly woven into a cloth and then worn for festive occasions. And the kente cloth has become a symbol of the African culture all over the world. So I'll show you how we begin, but I want to let you know that 
Everything for your kente cloth that you'll need, except for scissors and glue, will be inside your grab-and-go craft this week at the Independence Branch only. So what you'll need is a piece of black construction paper, and I have a template for you that you will place on top. And what you'll do is you'll fold the construction, black construction paper, and you will fold the template in half. You'll place the template and the piece of construction paper together like this, and you'll take your scissors and you'll start cutting up the lines of your template. I have one already cut out for you right here, and I'll show you that right here. Here it is, it's already cut out. And what you'll do is you'll take your colors, like blue representing peace and harmony, and you'll go either over and under your strips or under and over. So we're going to go with the first one, we're going to go over, uh, we're going to go under and over, but it doesn't matter, whatever way you'd like to start. And this is just like you would be weaving in cloth on a loom, except this is paper weaving right here. And here is our first blue strip. Remember, it means peace and harmony. Okay, then the next one is our green strip. And we're, since we went under and over, we'll go over and under with this one. Over and under. Over and under. All the way through the paper. And it'll look like that. And our next strip of paper is, I know it looks yellow, but we're going to use this as gold. And that's wealth, good fortune. And we'll go opposite with this one. We went under and over and then over and under. So we'll do that again, under and over for this one. And we'll go through here just like this to make sure it goes all the way through. And there we are. And our this color represents red, represents passion. And since we went under here, under, then over, then under, we'll go over with this one. We'll go over there and over this one. It probably took a very long time for everyone to get their cloth woven too, and then into specific designs that they would like. I hope you enjoy doing this after you have all of your colors on your construction paper. What I want you to do is take your glue and glue down everything that's showing right here. Let's glue that one and this one, and I'll show you. You'll flip it over, and you'll do the other side. And there. And there we go. Now, flip it over, and let's glue down this side. The gold. Okay. And then, once you have both sides glued, you take your scissors and you just cut off the excess. Just like that. Cut off the excess on both sides. And there you have your kente cloth, just like these. And here's a smaller version. All of I did was trim off the sides, Oop. trim off the sides, and made this one a little smaller. I hope you enjoyed your craft today. Like, share, comment, subscribe, let us know. Make yours, take a picture of it, send us to us on Facebook. And I hope you enjoyed all of our programs this week. And thank you and have a great day and come back and see us again. 
Bye-bye.